might help us make our legal work more efficient and easier. So I envision the system where once the client fills out their intake form, and what if the answers that goes from the intake forms can start creating this AI responses to start generating personalized responses and documents, okay? Think about it, clients, information comes in, then AI is about to take that and based on your prompt, it's able to send personalized communication or start the following process. The solution is Zapier plus ChatGPT. Who knows about Zapier? Yeah, a lot of people do. Just to give a short summary of what Zapier is, it's an integration tool. What that means, integration just means two tools being connected, that's all. It's a glue. How can you get this information from this tool to be able to communicate with this other tool? That's all Zapier does. What that does is provides endless possibilities. So imagine your client's information comes in, you have AI in the middle, and you have everything else on the back end. Literally endless. Endless, endless. And here's how Zapier works. I don't want to get too granular, but just a short little gist of it. When this happens, the trigger, okay, that could be potentially a booking, could be a job form, somebody who fills out a form, that could be somebody who books a time with you, it could be somebody who submits a payment, whatever that is, just think about when my client becomes a client, what happens. I think the most typical one is an intake form being filled out. Then the action is ChatGPT, ChatGPT. And I realized this, this is, I remember in January, first it was like ChatGPT, but I realized, I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. ChatGPT has a Zapier integration. I'm like, you got, like, I remember, I don't know if you guys, maybe some of our members remember, I'm like, I got super excited. I'm like, guys, Zapier, integrates with Zapier because that means you could do anything. And now I can finally release this beast, okay? <laughs> so what can be automated? And I was able to kind of think about the top three. If I were to use it myself, and I do use it, and I'll show you an example of this. First one is client onboarding, okay? As soon as the client comes in, they fill out this intake form, what if they could get a personalized welcome email and start to follow uh, the documents and the follow-up sequences with them? And this ensures that the client's onboarding kind of goes smoothly and it's tailored for them specifically. And it's very magical. All of a sudden they, they get this response or there's personal thing that's exactly about their using their information. Also, what if you could send case update notifications personalized according to their case by linking your case management system with ChatGPT or job form or whatever. Law firms can automate periodic case status updates and clients can receive personalized updates with their case and created by AI by feeling human crafted, keeping them engaged and informed. And the third one, obviously, legal document automation. Your filings, a lot of this filings could get started with ChatGPT, start a lot of the tedious work. And obviously you still need somebody to be able to review it and make sure that it's accurate and good. But a lot of that legwork can be done. Let me show you a simple example. As I set this up in January or so for our My Legal Academy members. As soon as people join, I'm sure some of you have seen this before. My Legal Academy Welcome Intake to gather some information about you, to understand who you are, what you do, so we can better serve you. So one of those most important questions is, what's your biggest obstacle? Everybody has a lot of uh, obstacles, but at least let's get the top one out of the way. What's your biggest obstacle for taking your law firm to the next level? So our, as soon as our members join, they answer that right away. Well, that goes instantly into Zapier. The trigger is job form. The action is ChatGPT. On the very bottom, there is instructions that you are a world-class expert in marketing and business development for law firms. And the, my, the way that I personalize it is, write a short practical solution to somebody who has this problem for a lawyer that's practicing this certain practice type who has this size law firm in less than 100 words, okay? So I was able to take information, actual information from our members who join and use ChatGPT to say, personalize, give a solution to the problem as soon as it comes in. And send that text, send the text. So as soon as our members join, imagine they fill out the form. 20 seconds later, ding! Hi, this is Sam Moy. I want to personally uh, welcome you to our family. I understand that you're an estate planning lawyer and your biggest obstacle right now is consistently, uh, consistent productivity. Here's a short practical solution to your biggest obstacle right now. AI response. Quickly, we'll be able to provide that solution. We'll be tackling your biggest obstacle, helping you scale your law firm, and so much more inside our program. P.S. This is an AI-generated text. No, this is not magic. This is one of the many innovative and effective ways we can reuse to help lawyers automate and scale the law firm. We look forward to introducing you to these programs and so much more inside. It works our magic. Uh, all of a sudden, there's like this delightful surprise, like, how, what, what is this? People start reading it, like, how were, how were you able to do that? Well, it's thanks to AI, it's my first time sharing it. It works really magically. But really, this opens up a world of possibilities. I know it's kind of hard to figure out what those are, and again, those three that I shared with you earlier are probably the more common ways to do it. Endless possibilities, obviously reduces a lot of time, 
so you don't have to rely on things to start getting processed. It provides personalization, it's able to obviously streamline things, and it's super scalable. This tool, all of these tools are super scalable. 